All right, so what do you consider the best song you've ever written, either for yourself or for another artist? The best song? That's hard to say, because all these songs are like my babies. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love them all the same. Nah, but um, if I had to pick my favorite child, <laughs> um, right now, I had to stay far away. Because, yeah. You know, it's keeping, it's keeping the lights on, saying some bills in my house right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be mad far away right now. Okay, that's fair. Definitely far away. You know, I'm you know, I'm just I'm just happy to be a part of that project too. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Marsh and just put together a dope album, late nights and early mornings, and for a record that we wrote three years ago, three four years ago, it mm. still mean that much. You know that that you know to someone else because you know, a lot of people love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It's got to say something. It says something. So, yeah. Far away would definitely be my favorite child right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, who's an artist you'd like to write for? You know that you haven't had a chance to. Hmm. I haven't had a chance to write for. You know what? Before I got signed. I always said I wanted to do a record with Jay, and I did a record with Jay. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it in the family. I want to write a record. If I had the opportunity, I would love to write a record with, uh, for Miss, Mrs. Carter. Okay. If I, if I must say. <laughs> you know, yeah. Beyonce. Okay. All right, that's a good one. I like writing for girls. You know, it's my way of talking to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> Um, let's take it back to your debut album, Yours, Mind, and the Truth. Um, you know, what, what do you remember trying to accomplish with that album when you were going in to make it? Um, I just wanted to make an honest album and, you know, make a record that was true to myself and giving people a piece of me. You know, like I wrote 80% of the album. Yeah. And, um, at that time I was going through a, a bad breakup when I, you know, during the process of making that album. Mm -hmm. And so, with that bad breakup, came, you know, her version of the story, my version of the story, and then it was, it was the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how that whole project came together. Oh, okay. But I guess you could say that album was about a bad breakup. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Great people into my world. You know, a lot of a lot of things that I go through, or relationships, is all this, mm -hmm. all this shit is changed for real, for real, like, you know what I mean? So... You know, I could be going through something, but there's somebody else that's going through the same exact thing. So I'm just telling my side of the story, and then, you know, of course, people can relate to it. It's all about relationships. Yeah. Those are the best kind of records I think to write. Definitely. All right, cool. Because it's something that, you know, everybody can, can relate to. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. Mm, you know, tell me about your current situation. You know, are you, you know, currently working on a new album? You know, what's your label situation, all that? Um, well, right now I'm in the process of, of doing another deal with uh, another company. I don't want to put any names out there yet until, you know, mm -hmm. to the ink is dry, but um, I am working on my second project. I like to call it my first because, you know, I didn't, I don't really think my first album got it. It's just, it's all good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like, this is like I'm doing it again, like once again. Like, you know what I mean? My, my first album, I'm all over again, but with a twist, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I recorded record so far I think I love like four or five I'm still gonna go in with Oak and Pop mm -hmm. um Oak and Pop who's you know same page as Collard Bread and Corn Green uh I mean Collard Bread and Corn Bread <laughs> yep. and um they also did um they produced Nicki Minaj's Your Love yep um and they also produced this uh this new Jojo record that's coming out called Other Shit yep um they're pretty dope really dope my production partner in my camp you know Night Riders what's up Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go in and do, you know, like five or six records with them and see what comes out. I want to do, like, a ten-song album, keep it short, keep it classic. Okay. You know, it's a real R&B album. Mm -hmm. It's nothing trendy. It's really, you know, honest records. Yeah. Great records with great lyrics and great melody. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you know, do you think we'll, you know, how do you, how do you feel like you grown in terms of it as an artist as a writer you know everything you know between this your previous album and the one we're gonna you know see from you in the future i mean i'm experiencing a lot of other things now like you know what i mean um i just had a son so you know my my, my thought process is a lot different mm -hmm. you know what i mean so um my 
records and now speaking, I guess, a, from a more mature Sterling Sims, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I've seen a lot more, like, I've experienced a lot more emotionally, you know what I mean? So, um, and, you know, with every experience, you grow, you know what I'm saying? So, I've grown up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, besides, you know, working on your own album, are there any, or currently any other artists you're writing for? Um, right now I'm working on myself as well, along with uh, Marsha and Bruce's second album. Oh, okay. She's back in already. And, um, you know, when we when we go in and we, we do catalog sessions, after catalog sessions, like, four or five days out of the week, um, you know, we target every artist, every artist, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much we target everyone. So, I know I hear Beyonce's back in again, so... Hopefully I can try to, <laughs> I, I can grab her attention with a record. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with um, that. Yeah, the first record with, uh, with Genuine, I did that with Lonnie Burrell. Okay. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm right now. Okay. I'm cool. focusing on my, on my album. Yeah. All right, cool. You know, I mean, there's a couple females that I want to work on, but, mm -hmm. you know, my, my male records I'm being stingy with right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ones that I really, really love, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cool. I went there another day for Jason Derulo. I wrote a dope record. Oh, okay. Right. You know, I did that with the stereotypes. Yeah. Get out of it, come down. Cool. Swag. I'm out here swag and paying some bills. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um... So that's that's all the questions I have for you. Is there anything you'd like to add? Oh, definitely. I'm um, putting the record out this summer, so you know, look out for that um, album coming top of the year. God willing, you know, I'm working on it, working hard on it. So I'm gonna bring it to y'all early. Um, shout out to all my Night Riders camp. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you can reach me at twitter.com backslash Sterling Sounds, and you can reach me in, on Facebook on Sterling Sounds. Inbox me, though. I don't, I don't really check those. Hit me <laughs> up on my wall. I'll respond to the wall. <laughs> cool. <laughs>